So now we're going to get into the list view. This is a great way to see a lot of information, to update that information, to aggregate that information. Super useful and great to be able to understand it properly. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're back in Odoo's demo database. We're going to go ahead and go into sales just because that gives us some nice data to work with. So first off, we can see the format here. This is obviously the list view, but we can also come up here where we can select our different views and see, hey, it calls it a list. We can see here that each line represents a different record. So we've got sales 61, 60, 58, and we've got some details on that. So obviously these are all representing the same data that's represented in the form view, but it's giving us more of a summary view. It's showing us less details, but it makes it so that we can interact with a lot of records at the same time. So let's get into some of the awesome functionality inside of the list view, okay? So looking at everything here, maybe I wanna see more than just my quotations. So we're gonna take that filter off, but we wanna be able to format it in a different way. So there are filters right here, obviously my quotations, the one I just pulled off, quotations, sales orders, kind of referring to the status over here. We can sort by create date or filter by create date, I should say. And then there's more, and we can actually add to this, which I'll touch on later. We can group by different things. So I can group by salesperson. I can obviously ungroup that again, and we can have multiple levels of groupings. We can even add a custom group, same thing with a filter. These are not persistent, but they will stay in for the time being. Now, obviously, if we want to be able to see more, if we want to be able to see this on a regular basis, we can actually save a set of filters and group buys for a view that we want to have later. So we can come into this. So say I want to group by salesperson, and I only want to see what's in, let's say, 2023. We can come into this and we can say 2023 sales by salesperson. Obviously, we want to make sure that it's something that we can come back to later. And we're going to share that with everybody else because we're generous like that. So that's for random things that we're putting together. Nothing that we want to necessarily throw in here for right now, but it's super useful. Okay. Also, with this, we can actually go into Studio and we can make some other changes here that are super useful. So we're going to come up to our views. And we're going to go to search because these two work hand in hand very well. So if you've been paying attention, you'll see that the filters that are listed right here are the filters that were on our list view and the group buys as well. The other thing that you may not have noticed is our auto completion fields. So when we come in and we start typing in the search bar, we can actually select these fields as options to search within. Okay, so it's super useful. So for a filter, say we want to add something, you know, we want to add something that people can use for this. So we're going to go ahead and say this is for a specific status, which we've already got, but we'll add this as a condition. So we're going to say sales order, actually, and we're going to come into this. And you'll notice this is a lot like the domain. If you've used that before, we can come in and we can say, okay, I only want this to be the status where status is sales order, okay? And we can actually add additional levels to this. So we can come in and say, well, I want it to be sales order and I want the create date to be, and we're gonna say greater than or equal to, beginning of this month so it's basically October forward we can confirm that and then when we go out we will see that that is out here as an option right now we've got this sales order which is a different one than what we had before right popping back in we can come into the search view again and we can actually add additional group buys so we've got salesperson customer that all makes sense uh, we'd like to also be able to group by our source, okay? And with that as well, we would like to also be able to search by our source. So we're going to drop that here. So the changes that we'll see are that we can come in, we can group by source, okay? 
and we can search by source. So I'm going to go ahead and say promotion. And we can click search by source. And we see, okay, our source now is all promotion, which is pretty cool and pretty useful if you use all this stuff correctly. So the next thing I'm sure you're wanting to know is what if I want more information here or what if I want less information here? Well, we're going to go into studio. Okay. You can see right here, if I want to, I can come in and make this invisible or conditionally invisible. Okay. I can come in as well and say, hey, this is an optional field. So by default, I want to see the website, but I can actually hide this. So if we use this option, what we see is that these guys are populated here. So if I want to see invoice status, whether this is recurring, if I want to see some tags, I can customize the view for me, not for anybody else in the company, to show those things, which is super useful. Hopping back into Studio, there may be a field that isn't represented that we want to see. So if we go into existing fields, say I want to see the source, the source is not represented in here, I can drag that in and say, I want to see the source. And then I can say, well, not everybody will want to see the source maybe. So I'm going to go ahead and say, well, let's hide this by default. I'll go in and make it available for me later. So you can see right here, we now, if we look for it real quick, have our source and we can add that in as we please. We can also go ahead and add new fields, much like we can in form view. We can go ahead and drag those across, add them in, and make sure that our name is correct for this sort of thing because we want to make sure that we have good names that we can follow. So I'm going to just say nickname for the sale order. Beyond just viewing data, we can actually interact with the data here. So the list view is super powerful for cleaning up data, for going through and adding anything else in there if we want to. So if we click on the view here, we can see, okay, I can actually create records here. Okay. So I can say open form view, which is our default, or I can add a record at the bottom or on the top. Beyond that, I can actually say enable mass editing. This is a super powerful functionality. So we've closed out of studio. Let's go ahead and look at what mass editing does for us. So we're going to go get out of my quotations and we're going to group by salesperson. Okay. So looking at this, we have Mark demo here, right? Mark has been with us for a long time, but it looks like Mark is going to be leaving us. So we're going to go ahead and group by salesperson, and then we're going to go ahead and group by status real quick. And then we're going to do something with that. So because Mark is leaving us and we don't want to lose track of these quotations, we're going to go ahead and assign them to somebody else. So we're going to click this checkbox here. We're going to go to salesperson and we're going to assign these to Mitchell admin. It's going to ask us if we do want to update these and we're going to confirm. Now, obviously there are many different situations where we could use this to our advantage. We can update tons of records at the same time, making it easy for us to keep our data clean. As one last item, just to make sure you guys are all on the same page, we want to go to view and show invisible elements. This is useful if we're trying to add an existing field and we can't see it anywhere. It's likely that it's already present in this view and we want to go ahead and make it to where it's visible or it's showing all the time if we want everybody to see that. So something good to keep in mind. So there you have it, the mighty list view, a great way to see a lot of information, to be able to sift through that information, make changes to it. There's a lot you can do with it, obviously. And so I hope you can take that away and apply it to each of your companies to make yourselves more effective.